Hey everyone, yes we are back with another update of our award winning software. Our team has been very busy working in the background to bring some new features in addition to improvements and fixes. There are quite a few new features, changes and improvements implemented in this release and we will introduce them in the next few minutes. Let's start with the PBX ports. Due to an increase in the average size of licenses used, we have expanded the port ranges of 3CX to accommodate in excess of 1,000 simultaneous calls. Increasing the ports of the PBX has also allowed us to increase the available shared parking slots to 250 from the existing 50. We've also implemented the ability to recover the admin password as well. If the admin enters the wrong password twice, the forgot password prompt will appear. Pressing this will trigger an email to the configured admin email. This doesn't apply to the logins of other accounts though, only for the admin. It's now also possible to disable the chat functionality globally across the PBX if you don't want users to chat to each other during the office day. A lot of people were worried that if the PBX was on its limit of simultaneous calls, that emergency calls could not be processed. It's now possible for emergency calls to be placed even if the license limit is reached. You can also choose and restrict who can make emergency calls at an extension level or extension group level. Speaking of licenses, changes have also been made which allow you to easily replace the license key of the PBX without reinstalling. The FQDN and web meeting portal will be transferred to the new license key. Just make sure that the destination license key does not have an FQDN assigned to it. Changes have also been made to the CRM server side functionality. Several CRM packages have been added to the PBX and we have also added the ability to test your integration by entering a test number, which will allow you to see the response the CRM package will return right from within the management console. Finishing off our introduction, let's have a look at the changes to the recordings. Recordings take up a large amount of space on the server hard disk. The average size of recordings is one megabyte per minute of recordings in PCM format, which was the format in use until now. We now also provide the option to store the recordings with adaptive PCM, which uses up to 75% less disk space. That is about 256 per minute of recordings on average. There is also the option to only record external calls now, in addition to the existing options of off and the recording of all calls. It's now also possible to prevent the extension user from disabling the recording of a call. We hope you enjoy this update of 3CX. For more news and information about 3CX, log on to our website and go to our blog. Thank you and goodbye.